Before taking apart your 30 gigabyte Zune, you're going to want to have a few tools. Uh, you're going to want to have the safe open tools, the flathead, and the Phillips head screwdrivers. Um, the first step you're going to want to do is take off this, this plastic dock surround. It covers two screws, so you're going to want to remove it. Just like that, just put your screwdriver on the edge and just pop it right out. It should come out really easy. Um, the next step is remove these two Phillips heads screws. So take those out. Set those aside somewhere safe. Don't make sure you don't lose those. They're they're fairly tiny and they can be lost quite easy. Okay, now once you have those, you're gonna take your safe open tool and insert it in between this crack right here as much as you can and just run it along the edge just to get the seam. Now you should be able to take your hands and just carefully separate this. And you should have two pieces just like that. Now set your back aside and now you, you're going to have to remove the battery. So take your flat head again and put it right here on this brown clip and just gently push up just until it releases and you should be able to lift the battery out fairly simply so I'll set that part aside now go back to your Phillips head and there are four screws that you're going to need to take out here two here and then two up here so remove those screws Okay, now you should be able to lift the hard drive up, just like that. Now there, you're going to want to move the hard drive from the unit, so there's this little black clip right here. I'll try to get so you can see it. Um, the easiest thing to do is just to take your flathead and gently just flip it up, just like that. And then you can just carefully pull out this ribbon cable. Just like that. And then your hard drive and the battery cage will probably come out with it. And then you can set that guy aside. Now there are six screws they are going to want to take out of the board. So one here, 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 and here. So just take out those screws. From here, uh, before you remove the board out of the unit, there's this brown clip right here. Pull up on that, just like that. Just gently pull up on it, and then you can lift this ribbon cable out. Now, from here, you can remove the board from the actual front plate of the unit. Just like that. So you're going to have two separate pieces again. And if you lift this guy out, you're going to see there is the click wheel ribbon cable also. So all those pieces are in there. Now set the front plate aside, and now you can see the board and just the LCD is on the unit. There are these two clips holding it in here, and then two up here also, so you can see that. 
uh, just release, just take your finger and kind of just pop them. Probably will work the best. And then once those clips are released, you can pull it out. Pull it out like this direction. And then you should see where it is connected to the board. Now just like in the hard drive, carefully, you can, you can take your finger or you can take uh, the flat head and just pop it up just like that. And the screen should just slide out very carefully. So the screen is out. The screen and the board are now separate. You can set your screen aside. And now there is just the ribbon cable that connects the hard drive to the board. And it also is the same sort of thing as the hard drive and the LCD. It has this black clip. So you can take your finger again and just pop it up and slide it right out. Just like that. Um, you can see that the device is composed of many different device parts and it's very quite simple to take apart. Um, thanks for watching this guide today and I hope you check out the rest of our videos. Thank you.